friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a Halloween card using some of the new Tim Holtz Halloween stamps called Gothic Tapestry and Exquisite. These are definitely two of my favorites from this release. Each set has a fabulous focal image along with additional images that are perfect fillers. To get started, I'm positioning a piece of Distress Heavy Stock in my stamping tool and securing it in place with some magnets. The paper is five and a half by eight and a half inches. I found that by starting with this larger piece of paper, it gave me more options for trimming it down later. And in the end, this card ended up being five by seven inches. Next, I'm inking the skull image from the Gothic Tapestry stamp set with Distress Archival ink and black soot, and then using my Stampendable stamping tool to help me get a good image. I ended up having a little lint or something on my stamp, so I wiped it off, re-inked, and stamped it a second time. I'm going to do some layer stamping over the skull using various images from both the Gothic Tapestry and, and Exquisite stamp sets. I'm using Archival Ink, which is a waterproof permanent ink in black soot. Villainous Potion and Peeled Paint to stamp the images. I chose to use this particular type of ink so that it wouldn't bleed when I added the next layers. Once I had the stamping completed, I took the Crest layering stencil and placed it over the right hand side of my paper. As you can see, I actually flipped it over and applied the ink through the back side of the stencil. Just something to keep in mind if you want your design facing the opposite direction. I'm using mint tape, which is a low tack tape, to hold the stencil in place, and I'm using a blending brush to apply Distress Oxide ink into Spiced Marmalade. I then moved the stencil to the upper left hand side and stenciled the design there as well. Now 
Next, I'm going to use the mechanical element stencils to add the number 31 to the bottom left-hand side. This is a set of number stencils that are perfect for adding a fun element to your design. Once again, I'm applying Distress Oxide ink and Spice Marmalade through the stencil. Here I'm adding some fun textural interest to the numbers by applying Distress Translucent Grit Paste through the stencil with the palette knife. Because I wanted the numbers close together, I could only do one number at a time. After I applied the paste, I removed the stencil and sprinkled it with wild honey embossing glaze. Both the grit paste and the embossing glaze are translucent, so you can still see the stamped images through them. Here I'm using the paintbrush to remove the stray embossing glaze. I chose the Wild Honey Embossing Glaze because it's the most similar color to the Spice Marmalade that I used with the Crust Stencil. After I applied the embossing glaze, I set the paper to the side to dry for about 30 minutes or so. I then used my embossing gun to melt the powder. If you're impatient, you can skip the drying part and just heat emboss it, but the grit paste tends to melt differently and you get a more smooth finish instead of the bumpy gritty look if you let it dry first. As I mentioned, I can only do one number at a time, so here I'm just repeating the same process for the number one. I will share that at first I only used the embossing glaze, but when I tried that it just didn't match in color like I was hoping it would. By applying the Distress Oxide first in a similar color, I got the look I was hoping for. Now if there was a spiced marmalade embossing glaze, everything probably would have been just fine. In the end it worked perfectly and I enjoyed the process of playing around and coming up with the final look. Here's a look at the finished card. Its finished size is 5 by 7 inches. I trimmed the panel down to 4.5 by 6.5 inches, lightly inked the edges with Vintage Photo Distress Ink, and added some machine stitching around the outside edge. I adhered it to a piece of white cardstock that's 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters inches, and also lightly inked with Vintage Photo. The sentiment is from the Scarecrow stamp set and trimmed into strips. To complete the card, I mounted these layers onto a piece of Tim Holtz Black Halloween Distress Wood Grain. I hope you enjoyed seeing how this Halloween card came together. Thanks so much for watching. I'm truly grateful for you. 
I was wondering if you could do me a quick favor and subscribe to my channel or leave me a thumbs up or a comment. If you're feeling extra generous, I'd love for you to share about my channel with your friends. All of these things help out us YouTubers so much and it would mean so much to me to have your support.